Hello on YouTube, I'm back with another update. I am going to be exploring Takeda Canyon today. And I'm in the visitor center. Some very interesting information here on the history of the canyon. These are just some previous newspaper articles. So the, as you can see, there is enormous amount of history, recent and ancient, associated with this canyon. And there's even a legend connected with this canyon. Very interesting legend. It's called the Legend of Taquites, and anybody that wants to research it, there is numerous online links. This gives a very basic overview of this legend that Taquitz was the first shaman created by Makut, Mukut, creator of all things. Taquitz had much power and in the beginning he used his power for the good of all people. Taquitz became the guardian spirit of all shamans.
and he used his power to do good. But over time, Taquitz began to use his power for selfish reasons. He began to use his power to harm the Agua Caliente people. People became angry and they banished, banished Taquitz to this canyon that now bears his name. He made his home high in the San Jacinto Mountains in a secret cave below the towering rock known today as Taquitz Rock. It is said that his spirit still lives in this canyon. He can sometimes be seen as a large green fireball streaking across the night sky. The strange rumblings heard deep within the San Jacinto Mountains, the shaking of the ground, and the crashing of boulders are all attributed to Taquitz as he stomps about the canyon. This is a very, very interesting legend connected to this place. And that's the mountain I was up on yesterday. Up there was where I believe I looked out on my second video from. So there is a trail that goes up into this canyon, which I'm going to be taking. There is a waterfall in the canyon, and it should be running right now. It is winter time. There is plenty of snow up above. So I am going to get that waterfall um, on video. And again, anybody that wants to research... There's lots of information on this legend. It goes into detail. I researched it. It's a very interesting story. And many people have actually died in this canyon and they attribute it to this curse um, in connection with the story that was put onto this canyon by that um, good shaman that turned evil and put a curse on the canyon and on all everybody in it. And it began a very, very interesting story. Um, encourage anybody interested who sees this video to research it. I, what I read a minute ago is just a basic overview. Um, these Indians lived here for thousands of years in this area. So in yesterday's video, because part of the legend is um, a good member of the tribe, who was the head of the tribe, went up to the mountain to eradicate this Taquitz was his name, and went up to his cave to kill him. 
and he hurled, they hurled huge boulders in battle with one another. And I know in my video yesterday I touched on, I'm wondering how these boulders got to where they were. Also yesterday, interestingly enough, I know I attributed the heat to my uh, difficulty in getting up, and it was hot, but it wasn't excessively hot, and the reading about this legend, I kind of wonder if dark forces are still at work here in this area connected with this legend because I had a much more difficult time than usual making the climate. I felt like my legs had lost their power in some spots. Especially when up in that area right there, it felt like my legs didn't want to move anymore. I had to stop, like, I would take 10 steps and had to stop because my legs just kind of, my body said legs stop moving, basically. So there's the stream down there where the waterfall emanates. Um, So it was strange, and I didn't understand um, what was happening yesterday. I felt like my energy was being sapped from me. And I could not figure out why. When I was traversing a certain area, it was a particular area where it was the worst, where I would take five steps, and I'd have to sit down again. Like, my legs just didn't want to move anymore. And I find that, found that quite strange, and I thought, well, maybe it's just um, too hot out. Maybe my body just can't handle the heat. But it was only in the 80s. It wasn't like it was 100. And so that was the area I was in when it happened the most, right through there. Um, and then when I read about the legend this morning connected to this canyon, which is right next to where I was yesterday, I kind of put two and two together on it. I think it's a negative energy vortex that exists in this area. Because my energy was being sapped from my body. And I felt it. I, again, I would literally take five steps and I'd have to sit down and rest again. Then once I got like to about there, it went away and suddenly my legs felt normal again. Even though I was, this was even before the sun went behind the ridge, it was still just as hot as it was. It, it, there was not a breath of wind yesterday anywhere. And suddenly my legs started to return to normal after I got past a certain point. I was scratching my head and wondering, well, where did this energy suddenly come from? Or why was my energy missing a little while ago? And then I read this legend. And 
And I'm a believer of this story for sure after what happened to me yesterday. Because people have died in this canyon and in this area in times past. And it could be part, that could be part of the reason. Because your energy just mysteriously just gets sapped from your body. You can't really go on anymore. Your energy's gone. It's, it's getting sucked away by some force. So this trail up the canyon is not very strenuous. It doesn't climb much. There are lots of people here today. I thought I would take some time today, explore this place, being that there's such an interesting story with it. And I'm gonna shoot another video when I get into the canyon more, where the falls are. Um, so stay tuned.